gentlemen, it gives me great pleasure to welcome you to the fifth edition of Tips on Retina Practice, a practice series, the inauguration. And it is being inaugurated by none other than the venerated Dr. Cyrus Shroff. He needs no introduction. Dr. Cyrus Shroff is a leading retina specialist of India and of Delhi. He was inducted into the Retina Hall of Fame of the American Society for Retina Surgeons in 2018. He has been the recipient of uh, uh, Rhett Buckler's award three times. That's the award given by the American Society for Retina Specialists for video presentations. He is the mentor of a whole generation of young retina surgeons. And he is also the person who carries forward the 108 year old legacy of his grandfather who gave Delhi its first eye hospital, Dr. S.P. Shroff and the hospital that we now know as Shroff Charity Eye Hospital. So that was founded by uh, Dr. Cyrus Shroff's uh, grandfather and he's, he's carrying that legacy forward. He's still a friend, a philosopher and guide for a generation of retina specialists in Delhi. Welcome, sir. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Bali. And thank you so much for the kind words. Welcome, you, sir. Thank, thanks a lot for accepting the invitation, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Sanjay. Uh, sir, with your permission, can we start uh, the share screen, sir? Yeah, sure. Sure. Dr. Bali, that would be a pleasure. And now, sir, we'll be inaugurating this book. This has gone into the fifth edition, Tips on Retina Practice. So please announce it open, sir. Yeah, I, it's my pleasure to release the fifth edition of the Tips on Retina Practice a practice series by Dr. Sanjay Ahuja and Dr. Jatinder Bali. My heartiest congratulations to them and we wish them all the success in, their, in this mission. Uh, retina is a tough and complex subspeciality and it, this would be a great companion in very ticklish situations and being a virtual book, it would always be readily at hand uh, in the form of uh, the mobile or tablets. So I think this would be a great addition to a person's armamentarium in their practice. Uh so actually, uh, there has been a need for hands-on training and that's where, you know, mentors like Dr. Sanjay Ahuja and uh, you come in. You know, there's, uh, there's increasingly been this feeling that, uh, uh, you know, uh, we are talking more in terms of the theoretical aspects than the practical ones. And uh, so what are your views on that, sir? No, I think it's it's a, it's a very welcome addition, as you said very correctly. I mean, uh, textbooks and things are are good for building up a base, a theoretical base for your practice. But in in day to day life, uh, there are situations are thrown up which is not always readily available, or uh, sort of solutions are not available in textbooks. And I think a, a series like this where actual hands-on practice tips are there, which have been discussed in various forums, on online forums, WhatsApp groups, and that, that throws up so many fresh ideas and, and sort of ways of handling these situations, which people have uh, with their experience imbibed over a number of years. And I think it's great that this sort of, uh, experience and wisdom can be passed on to people to tackle these situations. And we all know that retina is a complex subspeciality and uh, every patient sometimes is different. It, it's not, it cannot be standardized and across the board. And so I think uh, 
a book like this was really would be a great help to people in in and now that uh, we have an index to it also i think you can uh, type in a particular situation or a problem and then that would lead you to the various uh, tips which are relevant to that particular situation from all other ophthalmic specialties so it is not primarily meant for the retina specialist so it was for comprehensive ophthalmologists and now the uh, uh, now the people are doing uh, fellowships and doing great work in the retina now in 20 years back there were quite a few retina people but now the uh, now it has definitely increased now people are more and more and more people are taking this specialty I think uh, that's what Bali. I think. In last twenty years, it has the number has increased. Sir, earlier daily you only two three people were there, like you and Doctor Patak. Two three people were there. Whenever anybody used to talk of the retina specialist, only two three names will come. But now so many people have started, and uh, mother. So, so that's, the, that's, that's uh, very encouraging. Actually, agents, but, that's so very Doctor Bali. I think you brought up a very relevant point. I think uh, the challenge of uh, diabetic retinopathy, the numbers involved, even other things like aging macular degeneration. I think that it's so huge that even for fellowship trained retina, uh, of the, of course, as Doctor Sanjay said, there has been a great increase in the number now, and a lot more people are practicing. Yeah. Serious sort of in or exclusive retina practices as well, but I don't think the problem can be solved even by that increased number. So I think for this we have to have a much larger army of uh, ophthalmologists. And the good thing is now that I, I find, and we have also in fact in our uh, practice now having a lot of people who are otherwise anterior segment or comprehensive ophthalmologists, but they are very keen to do. Short-term fellowships in uh, retina, in medical retina especially, so that they can diagnose and and treat at the early stage, and then for the more complex situations, refer timely for uh, for the management. So I think, I think so. we need like that very wide base of uh, ophthalmologists, and that uh, thankfully is growing. I think with the Increased interest, especially in medical retina, which would tackle both diabetic retinopathy in its early stages and uh, um, aging macular degeneration. So actually, surgical retina has uh, like uh, with the very small number of people who are adept at surgical retina, because you know uh, uh, the mm -hmm. the diabetic vitrectomy is is a very is is a complex vitrectomy. It's not it's not run of the mill. So it has Correct. to go to people who really understand it. So uh, probably yes. So that means uh, if the if there are a greater number of people doing the medical retina, then probably you know the 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 numbers that we have could sustain uh, the workload that that is there. Uh, valid point. Yes. Sir, another question that I yes, have and is hopefully like, also decrease the load. I mean, if the, those patients are managed early with appropriate treatment, then maybe the number of people going in for uh, uh, surgical okay, interventions may also become less if, if they are uh, tackled in time at early stages. So actually, the, the projections are humongous. That's that's the worry. Thank you, Dr. Yes. Shah, sir. Thank you. No, Thanks thank you. Again, thank you. It's, uh, it's a pleasure yeah. and uh, it, uh, all the very best. And I'm sure this book will be a great uh, aid and a great companion to everyone. As you said, not retina specialists necessary, but to yeah. ophthalmologists across the board. Thank you, thank you sir. Thank, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much, sir. Thank you for giving us time on a Sunday morning, sir. Not at all. Pleasure. All the best. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Bye-bye, sir. Bye.